Oh yeah, hey guys, do me a favor. I'm gonna leave a link down here. Uh, I have a TikTok. I haven't used it in a while because I was using a different one, but we're gonna do more bowling related type TikToks um, and get some stuff going through there, coaching techniques and everything through there. So uh, they're gonna be the quick videos, obviously. They're gonna be shorter videos where it's not necessarily long format here. If you have TikTok, go ahead and find me on TikTok. There's a link down there uh, and click that link and uh, go ahead and follow me there. Um, and I will see you all on TikTok as well. All right, well, we are still on the camper for a few more days. Got the clinic coming up in cold water on Tuesday. So if you wanna be a part of that, make sure to head to 10pindoctors.com and you can sign up for that over there. Uh, otherwise you can call up to the center or just come on up. Uh, we have one o'clock squad. We're gonna let anybody in that wants to get in. And then six o'clock, we're trying to cap it at 15 people. Um, but if we don't get there, that you know, that's okay. We'll let everybody in, no big deal. Or if we get a little bit above that, that's fine too. Uh, 15 people at one o'clock, 15 people at six o'clock. We have two different squads. So if you wanna come up here for that, that'd be great. Um, we're gonna be learning all the different things, mental game, physical game stuff, release, uh, your approach, all this, all this different stuff. We're gonna get one-on-one -on -one coaching, classroom coaching, ball dynamics, all that. So come on up, sign up if you wanna be a part of this and uh, we'll get you signed up and you can be a part of it with us. Um, but as far as the tournament went, man, this one was rough. So I cashed in two of the three. This time it, they took 20 at 32 and I was 33rd. I bowled 175 the last game to drop to 16 under. Um, I, I mean, no excuses really. I missed two spares that cost me ultimately. I always say spares are the biggest thing. Uh, I, in game, I don't remember which game it was, but there was a game where I missed the head pin twice. I was very confused. Ooh, I was very confused as to how I missed the head pin twice. Um, I watched my ball get to 40 feet and then back up. It just kept going right. On decent shots, I thought. I changed balls the very next frame, so I left a 1-2-4 there, and I chopped the 1-2 off of the 1-2-4. And then I got up on the very next frame in the left lane and changed balls, and they it did the exact same thing. I missed the head pin again to the right, and I left the 1-2-4, and I chopped it the exact same way again. So those two spares, ultimately, just one of them, cost me the cut. Now, at the end of the day, it ended up taking 82 over after the next four games today. So really, I mean, I would have needed more. Otherwise, I needed like a 90 over block this morning, and that would have been, that have been tough to come by in four games. So not impossible, but very tough to come by on that pattern. Um, but my look wasn't very good. I used, uh, I, I took some surface to an IQ to a Ruby and I played straight around that, you know, 12, 13 range out to about eight. And I was controlling the pocket good. The unfortunate thing is, is early on, all of game one, basically, um, I couldn't carry. I left, I think, four or five flat tens that game, but I couldn't really make much changes because they were so hard, just getting to the pocket was hard enough. So I bowled 190, which actually wasn't bad. Made up for it game two, I bowled 230 with back to back to back Brooklyn's, which, like I say, they always come around. Your bad breaks always match your good breaks. This time I feel like the bad breaks actually outweighed the good breaks. I probably, in the total of all eight games, I had like, I think six or seven Brooklyn's that actually struck. But at the same time, there was much more than that as far as carry problems. Now, and you can say carry problems really aren't a bad break because your ball's not doing the right thing. I agree with that. But when they're this hard, it makes it difficult. You know, you, you expect your good shots to at least have a chance. Anyway, so a lot of my, a lot of my good, I think I left four or five blower seven tens. Um, I mean, I can count a lot of different spots that were just not good. So, yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a rough tournament. Um, I, I switched from that IQ two or Ruby to a stealth pearl, which I also put surface on, which looked a little bit better. Uh, and I, you know, I was I was 40 over, I think, 42 over after three. So I was in decent shape. And then I found a way, we went down where I missed the head pin twice, was down on one and two, and I bowled 160 there, which took me back to 10 over. Um, and I just kept grinding. And I bowled 180 and I bowled two teen, and then I bowled 175 on the end. And the 175 was brutal because um, I left a, a four, six, seven on the left lane. 
and got two, got back up on the right lane, made the move and four pinned. Uh, one of the weirdest four pins I've ever left. I thought it was, I thought it was great. It actually, it was one of those four pins that looked like it could have stoned nine, but instead it was a four pin. It was really weird. But anyway, and then I get back up on the left lane, make the move there again, and four, six, seven again. So those types of things are frustrating. So you go back to back opens on the left lane to shoot 170 after starting out with, you know, four or five good shots in a row where I'm clean with a double. You get stuck, uh, get stuck with a couple opens there. So I don't know. Rough weekend, no big deal. We're gonna head home uh, after Tuesday. So we're here, the, today is Sunday, and we'll be here again tomorrow. Might practice a little bit tomorrow. And then we have the clinics. Like I said, one o'clock and six o'clock. You can come up here, get signed up for those. Sign up online or sign up directly through here. You can come on up here to Coldwater. We'll get you in there no matter what. Even if we don't have space, I'll get you in there. So come get signed up, um, but I'm gonna get out of here and we'll see you guys later.